this is a kalpana here so in this video we are going to discuss a problem on spheres okay so if a diameter is decreased if diameter of a sphere is decreased by 25 percent then at what percent the curved surface area decreases? okay let's get started problem the diameter of a sphere is decreased by 25 percent by what percent its curved surface area decreases? okay let's consider a sphere with a diameter some d and here we are given that the diameter of the sphere is decreased by 25 percent that means the diameter is decreased and with this diameter a sphere is formed okay if a diameter is decreased by 25 percent then at what percent the curved surface area decreases let's see Let's consider a sphere with diameter d. Okay. So, let us consider the sphere or let us name this sphere as A. So, we'll be having the curved surface area of this A is 4 pi r squared. And you are having diameter D. We know the diameter is 2 times the radius. So, 2R will be the diameter. Okay. And if it gets reduced or decreased by 25%, there forms a sphere with some D and with some curved surface area let let us name the new sphere as b and curved surface for this will be curved surface area for b which is unknown okay fine given the diameter of a sphere is decreased by 25%. Okay. Also, we know that diameter d equals to 2 times radius. From this, we can write 2r equals to d. From this, you will get R equals to half of diameter. Okay. And also, we know that curved surface area of a sphere is 4 pi R square square units okay now we are going to find decrease in diameter since we are given the diameter of a sphere is decreased by 25 percent so decrease in diameter equals to 25% of diameter D. Okay. Since we are given D equals to 2R, we are not given. Actually, diameter equals to 2 times the radius. So, you can replace D by R. Let's write in the next step. So, 25% of 2R. So, this equals to 25 percent can be written as 25 by 100 into 2R. 
Okay. 25 fours are 100. 2 ones are 2 twos are. So, this equals to R by 2. So, 25% decrease in diameter is 25%. We are given, right? Is R by 2. Now, let's find decreased diameter. Then the decreased diameter will be the diameter of the actual sphere minus the 25%. Okay, 25% of 2R. So this equals to 2R minus R by 2. Okay. Decrease diameter is equals to the diameter. The actual diameter minus the 25% which is decreased from 2R is R by 2. So, this equals to diameter minus 25% which is removed. So, you have written the diameter D equals to 2R minus 25% which is to do the 4, 4R four minus R equals to 4R minus R is 3R by 2. So, the decreased diameter is 3R by 2. Okay. Since we are given that diameter of a sphere is decreased by 25%. So, in the reduced sphere, we'll be having the diameter 3R by 2. Now, we are going to find decreased radius. Since we need to find the curved surface area of B, right? So, for that purpose, you need the value of radius of this sphere. So, decreased radius will be, we know that diameter equals to 2 times the radius, then you can write 2R equals to D, which we have, which I have shown earlier, right? So, from this R equals to 1 by 2 into D, okay? Since you need to find decreased radius, so we'll consider decreased diameter, that is, Decrease radius equals to 1 by 2 into in the place of D. We'll take decreased diameter. Since you need to find decreased radius. So you have considered decreased diameter. This equals to 1 by 2 into decreased diameter is 3R by 2. So, this equals to 3R by 4. So, the diameter of this sphere is R equals to 3R by 4. So, you are having R here. Next, you will find curved surface area for B. And then you will find the difference between curved surface area of A and for B. For A minus for B. And finally, you'll find the percentage of curved surface area. Okay. Let capital B be a new sphere after diameter has decreased. Okay? 
Now we are going to find curved surface area of sphere B, which is equal to C S A of B. We have named the new sphere by B. Okay, so this is equal to four pi r square, four into twenty-two by seven into no. Let it be pi. Okay, don't take pi as twenty-two by seven. No need to take pi equals to twenty-two by seven. Let it be the same. And you're having r three r by four whole square, which is equals to four into pi into three. These are nine into r square. By four square is sixteen. Four ones are four. Four fours are sixteen. So this equals to nine pi r square by four. So you are having a surface area for B, which is equals to nine pi r square by four. Okay. Now let's find the difference. Since you have to find at what percent the curved surface area decreases, so for that purpose we are going to find the difference of or difference in curved surface area. That is, curved surface area of A minus curved surface area of B. Okay. Decrease in curved surface area is given by. Curved surface area for A minus curved surface area for B. See, we know the value, uh, values of curved surface area, but here we need to find the percentage for that. That means the decrease, the curved surface area decrease. We don't know how much percent it has decreased. So for that purpose, let's find the difference between CSA and finally. We'll find the percentage. Okay, so CSA for A is four pi r square minus. For B is nine pi r square by four, which is equal to now take the LCM four 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 is a sixteen. So you'll get sixteen pi r square minus nine pi r square, which is equal to sixteen minus nine is seven pi. R square by four. Okay, now percentage. Percentage decrease in CSA. Is given by decrease in CSA by the decrease in CSA by the actual curved surface area. We have named it as A. So I'm writing CSA for for A into. Since we are finding percentage, right? So write hundred percent. Fine. Since you are having decrease in CSA is seven pi r square by four. Now replace decrease in CSA by seven pi r square by four. So this is equals to decrease in CSA is seven pi r square by four by curved surface area for sphere A is four pi r square into hundred percent. So this is equals to seven pi r square by four into one by four pi r square into 
100%. Cancel R square and pi. So, you will get 7 into 100 is 700%. But, for 4 is 16. Let's find. Let's divide 700 by 16. So, for that you need a 16 table. Well, let's find. 16 into 3. 3 is 6 are 18. 3 ones are 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 16 into 4. 4 4s are. 4 6s are 24. 4 ones are 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 16 into 5. 6 5s are 30. 6 ones are 6. 5 ones are 5. 5 plus 3 8. Sorry. 16 into 6. 6 6 are 36. 6 ones are 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 16 into 7. 7 6 are 42. 7 ones are 7. 7 plus 2. 7 6 are 42. 7 ones are 7. 7 plus 4. 11. Okay. So, 16 fours are 64. Take 16 fours, which is 64. So, you will get 10 minus 4 is 6. Take the 0. Means you are having 60. So, 48 is nearer to this. Take 3. 16 threes are 48. 5, 10. To 1.0 16 sevens are 112 8 0 16 fives 18 okay so this equals to 43.75% So, the percentage at 43.75% its curve surface area decrease. Therefore, Percentage decrease in CSA is equals to 43.75%. Therefore, at 43.75%, the Curved surface area of a sphere decreases or decreases. Okay, this compares the problem. So, if a diameter of a sphere is decreased by twenty five percent, then the curved surface area is decreased by 43.75%. Okay. So, in this video, we have seen a problem from spheres. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.